this past year has been especially challenging for communities for various reasons. I wanted to make sure this year that my students knew the power of art on making change and using art to communicate changes they want to see in the world. First, I read the book Say Something by Peter Reynolds. This book's about how people use their voices to share what they feel through various ways, through a poem, a song, acting out, or through artwork. Next, I shared various artists like Lisa Congdon, Brian Odoms, and Lin Ji Dang, only to name a few of the very many who are out there. I then challenged them to think about things in their own lives or communities that they feel passionate about and talk with a classmate about their passions. Then students began creating their own social justice art to be shared within their community and online. Their art and messages were so powerful and I felt students' own voices rise to the occasion. They felt heard and seen. You could provide a theme like a better tomorrow or environmental understanding or together we are one to guide students in their work. The art could be mixed media and you could also teach various art methods into this lesson. Students could also use their voices to create raps, lyrics, plays, poems, songs, or installations of what it is they want to share with the world. Free speech walls with chalk can give students an outlet to share what's on their minds. Of course, this, this would have to be monitored and given the appropriate boundaries could encourage meaningful conversations. The website Learning for Justice, formerly known as Teaching for Tolerance, offers great resources on art and activism for younger students. Using lessons that teach the meaning of visual symbols for social justice can offer students a way to learn about these symbols and create their own interpretations of them through their art. I think it would be very powerful for children to explore the aspect of equal rights for people with physical disabilities and create posters, songs, and poems to express the importance of recognizing and empowering those with disabilities. Collaboration on a mural is a fantastic way to have students be part of their community and share their vision for the world. I'm currently working with a local mural project group and local illustrator in creating a mural with my fourth and fifth graders. It's been a great experience for students to learn about murals, design a mural, work with community members, and finally create a mural for their community to see and enjoy. It's been a lot of work, but so rewarding for all. I appreciate the meaning of social justice art on Wikipedia. Arts for Social Justice encompasses a wide range of visual and performing arts that aim to raise critical consciousness, build community, and motivate individuals to promote social change. I find that this way of teaching students to share what they believe is empowering for them and fills me with pride as they share their views and ideas confidently through their art. As Kofi Annan says, have confidence in the young people, give them a chance and they will surprise you.